Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. So we are doing a Dollar Tree haul and I love doing these and I think you guys seem to like them too. So if you enjoy Dollar Tree hauls, then give this video a big thumbs up and if you want to follow along with my daily Dollar Tree finds, I have a whole Instagram page devoted to finding stuff at Dollar Tree, also Target Dollar Spot, Walmart, where else do I go? Sometimes I'll post some Marshall stuff on there as well. It's just kind of like my fun shopping Instagram. And I now have, as of like today, 55.5K followers on there, which like blows my mind. I just love that page so much. And I love coming on my YouTube and sharing with you guys my hauls. This is like the home for my Dollar Tree haul. So please subscribe to my channel and also make sure you turn on that little bell. It's right next to the subscribe button if you enjoy all things Dollar Tree because I post tons of shop with me's and fun things like that on this channel. I'm also filming today on my like more professional camera. It has the microphone and everything. So hopefully you guys can see me. I don't have like a TV or anything fancy to like make sure I'm okay. From what I can see in the viewfinder, it looks okay. And let's just get right on into my huge Dollar Tree haul for the day. <laughs> Okay, I have so much stuff to share with you guys, and I have everything in a Target tote bag. Yes, so I don't know. I just have so many of these because where I live, we don't have plastic bags anymore, and my Target gives us these tote bags for free. So everyone where I live has like 50,000 of these hair stuff today. Oh my gosh, wait till you guys see this hair find. We have makeup items. We have so much stuff. So, and then like some fun stuff also, and just like some home stuff. So I'm going to start out with this item from crafter square this is the vinyl paper and this is the prettiest color it's like this blue sparkle i'm a little nervous to see how this is going to cut on my machine i have a mini silhouette it's called silhouette portrait a lot of people have a cricut machine and that's what these papers are for and I get so many questions when I post these, like, what is that for? You have to have a cutting machine, like a Silhouette or a Cricut, to be able to use these. And basically, you can make anything. It's one of the coolest things ever. And it's more of an investment item. I think my Silhouette was maybe like 140 but you have it forever and you can make limitless things with it and Dollar Tree started selling the paper and I was like so shocked that they have the vinyl paper now and now coming into this year they're coming out with so many new designs like glitters like this one this one I'm calling like the Cinderella paper because that's what it reminds me of and I actually told myself the other day I'm not allowed to buy any more of these like I'm cut off you guys I have so many of them I have white red Oh my gosh, I even got another one after this and I was like, no more. <laughs> like I am on a limit. I think in my next haul, you guys will see another one, but I'm telling you, I'm not allowed to buy any more of these papers because I haven't used them. Okay. And I'm like, you have to do a project with these before you buy another one because it's getting ridiculous how many of these I'm collecting. I just get so excited when I find them because it's like a dollar 25 for vinyl paper is crazy so there's mixed reviews on these i feel like i'm babbling on about this sorry if like no one cares but there's mixed reviews on these vinyl papers some people say it's really good some people say it's not good i have to test it out myself and do a project and i'm really hoping that this year maybe they'll even get heat transfer vinyl which is where you can print stuff out on your cricut or silhouette and you can iron it on to t-shirts and sweatshirts that would be like amazing this is cute it's this gold claw clip how pretty is this i had never seen a cute claw clip like this before i just loved it i love gold and i just thought it was really fun i am really hoping that this year because of the price increase that we're gonna see more items that are like double packs i would have loved to have a duo pack of this i want to get like more kind of like bang for my buck you guys know so hopefully that will happen i really like how my makeup came out today i used like this milani palette i haven't used in so long and i feel like i've just having been having fun after i did my declutters and just using stuff that i totally forgot about i have to use this for a hairstyle i can do something like you know like how back in the day we used to like take the front piece and because this is really small so i think i'll only be able to like of course do like a half up half down with this clip really like this next item i actually bought two 
it's this kiss my face triple action toothpaste and this is a name brand i was so shocked when i saw kiss my face at my dollar tree and it's fluoride free it's a whitening toothpaste and it has tea tree oil and calcium to remove plaque build enamel and prevent tartar and it's a mint flavor so i am almost through my first container of this so that's why i bought another one it's 100 percent vegan triclosan triclosan i can't say that and sls free bpa free no artificial colors or flavors the box is eco-friendly so it's just so nice to know that i can get stuff like this at dollar tree it's a full size it's not a mini not expired i always get so many comments about that on my tiktok because i post a lot of dollar tree, tree stuff on there too go follow me on tiktok it's just kim nazolo and um people are always like that stuff's expired and I'm like guys come on like I don't even think they're allowed to sell stuff that's expired yeah so and also I always think I'm like how many things in people's makeup collections are expired and they're saying things are expired I'm like go check your makeup collection I'm sure you have like five expired mascaras you've had for like three years and like six-year-old eyeshadow palettes which no shame I have them too but like I wish people would stop this whole like expired thing I don't know it just kind of drives me crazy but yeah this is and rant good I've been like I said using it a bunch and I really like it so if you guys find this I recommend picking it up and it's just so nice it really does make my teeth feel really nice and clean and white um and I like that it's natural like amazing so good so you really don't have to spend five six dollars on a toothpaste and you don't also have to just be using like colgate or whatever there are other options out there this was really cute i picked this up from it was like in the makeup section it's this little cross necklace and it's just like a faux gold you guys see right there it's actually like a sideways cross and i think i have like a bunch of necklaces on right now but let me actually take this out and put it on so you guys can see different chain lengths decent amount of jewelry from dollar tree i also have um like some hoop earrings from them that are really cute it's really cute the little sideways cross is that cute oh i like that a lot three necklaces were really extra today but you guys look how pretty that is i like that it was sideways i just thought it was something different so i'm really happy about that purchase i picked these up i already used one because i was desperate for a dermaplaning sesh it's these eyebrow razors they are so so awesome you guys you get a pack of three which is great because these get dull quickly and sometimes you know if you have it for a while it can even start to get like rust on it so i like to switch mine out pretty often and i use these to shave the mustache area i'm italian so we're a little bit hairy you know if you know you know and i also get like here and under like here so i like to just use this with a cleansing oil and shave my face i've done like a bunch of videos on this before on my channel if you guys want to check those out and these i love because they have a really long space for the razor i really don't like those ones that are tiny i feel like you're prone to be cut more with those and also they barely cover any ground on your face so i love the shape of the razor on these and they work so well at getting off the peach buzz and the little like mustache hairs these are also more rare to find so when i see them i like to pick them up so i can have backups and i'm so glad that i found these again so i highly recommend these if you guys want to get rid of your peach fuzz and also i get a lot of questions like does the hair grow back darker no so what it is is when you are shaving your face you're cutting the hair at a blunt angle so it's going to give the appearance that your hair is growing back thicker but it's not it's just the way that the blade cuts the hair so just a little fyi for you guys in case you were wondering about that because i feel like that's always a frequently asked question with like dermaplaning this was like just a random little pickup i got these two travel bottles i really only got this because i wanted this mini spray bottle i feel like i'm always looking for a spray bottle but i don't want like a super big one sometimes so this is great for anything you can use it for alcohol i always like to have an alcohol spray bottle on hand i like to make my own cleaning spray so just having an, a little option of a new spray bottle for whatever i want to make i go on a trip if i visit my sister and i need some travel bottles i think these will come in really handy oh so cute i picked up this four piece eye brush set and i love these because they had this really pretty sparkly silver handle right here okay my camera like doesn't want to focus on the sparkles but they also had them in black but i like the silver because you could see the glitter better on these and you get a angled brush an angled 
eyeshadow brush, a little thin kind of brush, which I like using for my nose highlight, and then just a regular flat shader brush. So I thought these were really cute. I love anything with glitter on it. So I was like, I have to grab these. When I posted this next item, people were freaking out. And I was so excited too. It is the Toms of Mean Natural Prebiotic Moisturizing Hand Soap. You guys, this is so crazy. So I got peppermint. They also had um, apple. They had orange. They had a couple different ones to choose from. But I like peppermint the best. So I wanted to try this one out. And I still can't believe that I found this. And a lot of people like this, but then a lot of people were like, no, like it's really runny. So I don't know. I have to test it myself and see what I think. We are always running out of soap in my house. Like we have the kitchen and the bathroom. So I always like to have soap on hand. No pun intended. And it says help support good bacteria to keep skin in healthy balance. So it says no parabens and no artificial fragrances. And I love, again, that I can get a more natural item at Dollar Tree. I feel like people always have this misconception that you can't find, like, good products there. I'm like, no, you can. Like, you really can find good natural products that aren't filled with junk. At Bath & Body Works, um, a lot of their soaps are, you know, $8 and they're filled with... Um, all the different colors like red 40 or whatever yellow like I was there the other day and there's only one type of soap I use from Bath and Body Works and it's the one that has no artificial colors so the fact that you can get something like this is amazing like oh my goodness I love it so I was really happy about this find and so many of you guys messaged me and said you picked one up too and it's just so great to see that so I also saw a lot of people were picking up method hand soaps i have not found the method hand soaps yet i saw this and i was like oh my gosh i have to grab it because i missed this last year it's the gua sha massager i love doing gua sha um pretty much every night with a face oil so i was like i have to try this out i also like to try out a lot of dollar tree items because i make tutorials for instagram and stuff this is great because you can really use it to tone like the double chin area which I feel like a lot of us women, we always like kind of get that in this area. Doesn't matter, um, you know, what weight you are. It doesn't matter. I feel like we all like get this issue of over here. So using the gua sha really helps with that if you're consistent with it. And I thought it looked really nice. Let me open it up. I have to be careful with these because they break really easily. I like this better than the jade roller. This side, and I'll go up like this <laughs> and then the little foot side you can use for crevices like here here and then I use it on my forehead you can go down the neck it also feels really good on the back of the neck so this is amazing it's a bit smaller just by a little bit from my TJ Maxx gua sha and a little bit thinner someone asked me what this was made out of and I was like you know what I'm not sure like if it's real jade I'm really not sure it's probably just like a stone that it's made out of but I'm excited to use this tonight on my face and see um, how it performs compared to my one from TJ Maxx because I love gua sha -ing. so I was like oh my god I have to pick this up and do like a little face skin tightening tutorial of natural stuff like that it's like natural skincare practices Okay, next I got this brush from Ioni. It's the Brow and Lash Duo Brush. So you get the plastic comb and then the regular brow comb. Um, no, I'm sorry, it's a lash comb so you can comb through your mascara. And then this side is like a really nice thin brow brush. And I love a thin brow brush with my brow gels. I love my LA Colors brow gel. So I am so excited that Ioni came out with this whole line of brushes. I think I got another one too. I have like another bag of stuff that I'll be hauling because um, you guys know I do like tons of Dollar Tree hauls. So I thought this was really cool. I can't wait to try this out and see how their brushes are. It's so pretty. It's this glass jar and it has this like iridescent kind of oil spill look to it. Can you see that? It's so pretty. I could not like stop looking at it when I saw it at the store and I just think it's so cute. This would be really pretty on like a shelf or something if you have a shelf where you're displaying a bunch of items. Um, and this would be so nice. You could put this in your kitchen. You can use it for anything. Kitchen storage. You can put like sugar packets, stevia packets, whatever in here. And I just thought it was so cute. I could not pass it up. I hope the camera picks up like how cool this is and the effect that it has. And I have some beauty items to show you guys. 
which is really cool. So this I have already used in a bunch of tutorials, but I was like, let me get a deeper color for contouring. So this is the shade Mocha in the Flower Pore Perfect Instant Blur Stick and Foundation. I love these because they're really nice and compact. They don't take up a lot of room in my makeup. Really nice for traveling. And I'm obsessed with cream contouring. I actually did some cream contouring today. The primer on the other side, it works so well for filling in the pores and giving a very smooth appearance when you put your foundation on. Like you can really see it works. So I cannot recommend this enough, you guys. It's so good. I think this was in also my yearly favorites because I liked it that much. So hope you guys can find this at your store. A lot of you guys appreciate that I, you know, show you everything and then I also use it like in action. <laughs> it's so funny. I told myself I wasn't gonna get this, but I got it anyway. It's the Cover Girl Exhibitionist Champagne Dreams Liquid Glitter Shadow. And this is a high shimmer, super saturated color. Um, so basically, it's like a kind of like a seal of glitter and glow. In my last video, I used the silver one, and I was a little bit like unsure about it because I felt like it kind of burned my eye a little bit. Um, and also, when you see these in the store, they're a little separated. So I don't know, but should I open this and swatch? I think someone wanted me to swatch stuff, so let me open it in here. It's really pretty gold color. More of, I would say, a shimmer, and there's like little specks of rainbowy glitter in here. Can you see? So I kind of like sheared it out a little. Hopefully my camera doesn't wash it out. I can use it in a tutorial, see how it performs on the eyes. It uh, doesn't hurt my eyes or anything like that but last like hair and beauty item you guys this was so crazy this was like one of my most popular finds and I was shocked it is Pureology mini sample size of the clean volume conditioner what like, how does Dollar Tree have Pureology insanely shook by this find this is crazy. It says Pureology on the back. Um, it says trial size for fine color treated hair, 100% vegan ingredients, 1.7 fluid ounce. I was like, wow. Like I was so excited when I found this because I've always wanted to try Pureology. And I mean, I know it's just a sample size, but still these shampoos are like $50. Like it's a very, very pricey shampoo. So I was really, really excited about this. Let me know if you guys found this at your store. I can't wait to try this. It's one of like the more high end brands I've ever found at Dollar Tree. I lowered the light so you guys can see it a little bit better up close. That was amazing. And I was just like completely shocked by that find. Um, so hopefully that's a sign of even more amazing things we're going to see this year at Dollar Tree. And if you guys ever want to see everything I find, like a full run of the store, because I don't buy everything, go watch my Shop With Me's. I also have a second channel called Discount Dolly where I do a lot of Shop With Me's of Dollar Tree. I will have that link down below. I thought this was the last thing, but then I remembered I have more stuff to show you guys. Okay, so next item is a book. And oh, you guys, I'm not kidding. I read this in two days. It is so, so good. I can't even tell you guys the last time I went through a full fiction book. It's, I don't even know. I can't tell you. I read like my devotionals and my Bible, but like a fiction book I haven't read in so long. And I was at the store and this one caught my attention. I liked the cover. I read the little like info on the front and I was like, oh, that sounds really good. It's a teen book, but it's the author's actually first book. It's by Caroline Leach. It's called Wait For Me. And just to kind of give you guys like a little synopsis, I'll read you the front. It's 1945 and Lorna Anderson's life on her father's farm in Scotland consists of endless chores and rationing, knitting Red Cross scarves and praying for an allied victory. So when Paul Vogel, a German prisoner of war, is assigned as the new farmhand, Lorna is appalled. How can she possibly work alongside the enemy when her own brothers are risking their lives for their country? So she has two brothers at war. Um, World War II. But as Lorna reluctantly spends time with Paul, she feels herself changing. The more she learns about him from his time in the war to his life back home in Germany, the more she sees the boy behind the soldier. Soon Lorna is battling her own warring heart. Loving Paul could mean me losing her family and the life she's always known. With tensions rising all around them, Lorna must decide how much she's willing to sacrifice before the end of the war determines their fate. I've never like read a book thing to you guys. So I'm like, oh my gosh, this is cool and different for my channel. So 
oh it was so good once you pick this up you cannot stop reading it so i highly recommend you guys if you find this pick it up i know books can vary you know from state to state but sometimes you can find some of the same books so if you see it pick it up this is definitely like one of my favorite fiction books i've ever read i would totally read this again and the other thing i wanted to show you guys that was so crazy about this when i first got it i was you know looking through the front and i came across this and i was like what it says welcome to auburn lady which is like where they live in the book and it is signed by the author what like what like how did Dollar Tree get a signed copy of this book and then I posted it on my Instagram and tons of people were messaging me okay like three people and they're like I always find signed copies of books from the author also at Dollar Tree and I was like what so this is like a little hidden gem secret and I think that is so cool obviously like I don't know the author but to have like a signed copy from the author it's crazy. I don't know how they got this or how this happened, but I think that's really cool. And this isn't the only one. Apparently there are more books that are signed copies. So definitely check out the book section and this book because I absolutely fell in love with it. It's such a beautiful story. It's nice to have something different than just like a high school setting. Like it's, you know, on a farm, you know, in World War II. So it's just something really different. I just love that like period piece. I'm posting this which will be probably the day before Valentine's Day. So I do have Valentine's stuff to show you guys because I loved everything this year. So I picked this up. It's this adorable mason jar. It says love um what does it say? <laughs> I couldn't read it. Love makes everything better and it has like glitter and stuff and it has the little mason jar. So I thought this was really cute. I did need some more Valentine's Day decor because I didn't have too much. So I was like, I'm going to pick this up. I really like the mason jar and the little twine, you know, it's the farmhouse thing. Okay, these next pieces, oh, I fell in love. They are <laughs> the Valentine's Day gnomes. How freaking cute are these the hats are, are red and white with hearts you guys know how much I love anything with hearts I love stars too um oh my gosh they're so cute and then this one has little pigtails with yarn on the pigtails so I was like screaming when I saw these I was so excited I stashed them in my cart right away so I love these I also have these on my tv stand and I just think they're the cutest things ever and I love that I could just use them year after year and I love gnomes Nick's like are gnomes like the new trend or something and I was like yes we love gnomes and I think they're so cute I actually didn't even take the tags off yet probably because I just wanted to show these to you guys but I'll take the tags off so oh my gosh they're the cutest ever and then I also got another pair which are on my like I have this little shelf in our living room. Let me grab them and I'll show you guys because they're really cute. Okay, so these are the other two gnomes that I got. Oh my gosh. Asking me like were those in the Dollar Tree Plus? I'm like, no, they were in the regular section. I don't even have a Dollar Tree Plus anywhere I live. I think the pink sequin one is my favorite. I love them all, but how cute are these? I also like these have the pigtails with the little ribbon, pink ribbon. Oh my gosh so so cute i've seen these gnomes go for like 10 to 15 dollars and these are 14 inches so they're actually quite big they're not even like a mini size and they're just such nice quality i'm honestly amazed that they were able to like source these and put them out for only a dollar 25 because they're beautiful like and i love the little feet they stand up on their own when you put them on a shelf so i just can't rave about them enough i think they're so cute Hey guys, so that is my Dollar Tree haul for this week. I want to try and do these weekly because you guys seem to enjoy these videos and I, you know, want to create content that you guys like seeing and I love Dollar Tree and making, you know, these videos and doing hauls. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you got any of the same stuff that I did, let me know in the comments down below. I really love everything I picked up and I had so much fun just with like the Valentine's Day stuff and finding the book, makeup and purology and stuff so I I just love going to Dollar Tree it's like one of my favorite places ever so thank you guys again don't forget to subscribe if you like this let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed the haul what you picked up recently and happy Valentine's Day you guys and I will see you in my next video bye <laughs>